for those who are watching us now, we are talking about the political dispensation in Africa. And that is our topic for discussion. And the person that is guiding us through this is Dr. Ismaili Sisi. So from all the way from Gambia, and he is a lecturer, senior lecturer at the University of Gambia. Now, um, I pull this quote um, um, from online, and this quote is from you. And it goes like, political parties not in government should graduate from being opposition parties to alternative parties by not only opposing government policy, but providing leadership and alternative solutions to our problems. Why do you think we only see our problems when in opposition, but when in power, everything seems to be fine? That has been the tragedy of Africa, um, Oscar, in the sense that we've had two sets of politicians in the African continent uh, since independence. Um, the first breed, which is a very rare breed, are those who want to achieve political power because they have really diagnosed the complex problems of their societies and they've got solutions to those problems and therefore they want to get political power to change uh, the lives of their people. The latter breed, which is the more ominous breed, which are more, are those who have no ideas, no, they don't understand the problems of their society, they have no solutions to the problems, they just want to get to power because there's a high premium in political power in the African continent. The, one of the quickest ways to get rich today in Africa is to get into politics. And those are the, the kind of politicians we have. And I think Africa now has really uh, been left behind. Like I said, six years of flag independence. If you look at what we've achieved as a continent, to be honest, um, the, the verdict is not good. If you do an inventory of the African continent and our achievements, even though it might not be it might be an anomaly to some extent to say africa because africa has almost 54 uh, different states all are very different geographically uh, socially politically economically they are all very different but by and large in sub-saharan africa what we've seen is a uh, failure we've not managed to govern ourselves properly since independence and i made an observation and realized that um, political parties are supposed to play a role uh, not only to oppose government, but also to provide alternative solutions and leadership to exist the, to the government in power. Because if you have a political party, your aim is to gain political power through elections. And therefore, you are a government in waiting, no matter what kind of political party you are. So you must be prepared to be able to tackle most of the problems that the current government is facing. So you don't wait until you are in power and you start thinking of uh, solutions. You have to start thinking of solutions now while you are in the opposition. So whilst in the opposition, you have the role to play, not only to criticize and oppose government to say this is not good, but give alternative solutions. That government, you've done this, but it is not, this, is, this is not the way it is supposed to be done. This is how it's supposed to be done. These are the serious political parties. Now we have to move away from politics of uh, personalities, politics of sentiments, to politics of ideas. And I think that is where we come in as uh, a new sets of political parties now. And I don't even like to call political parties and as the opposition, what we call them the alternatives, because what they are supposed to do, their proper role actually of a political party, that is the proper role of a political party, is to offer alternative solutions and alternative leadership. If it falls short of doing that, it is not supposed to be um, a, a political party. Oscar. Mm -hmm.